So we're going to do a little taste test comparison between my buddy Dave. He lives over in Ireland. He's, that's his saw. I've been holding it for ransom for a long time now. I keep bringing that up, but I think it's kind of funny. Um, actually, we've been doing some saw testing. And in the process, one of the early torque tweak saws was this one here. After I kind of experimented on some of my own stuff. Um, we're going to run it against a bone stock 272. I tried testing this against another 272 that I built. And it runs pretty good. It's decent. Sh it actually is in really good shape physically. Um, it doesn't look like it was thrashed. It just looks like it was used. It actually has pretty decent compression still. Um, this is pretty new. I did a couple of 357 big bore kit projects myself back in about 2005. This is one of those cylinders. The other one I used um, in a production cutting application when I was dealing with trash running a 28. Um, they they get right with it. Um, and this saw runs better than that one did by quite a little bit. So Psycho and Zip Kit with the torque tweak, like I said earlier, this is bone stock. We'll have a bar change in the middle and we'll gonna we'll enjoy the precipitation um, coming out of the clouds because they're participating today. but you can see that she's got decent compression it's not clapped out by any stretch of the imagination in their day, if you put a zip kit into them that was pretty decent, the 272's were a pretty nice little production saw for cutting way small trees with a 32 back in the day. I actually had a few of them myself. They're not too heavy. They weigh about, the full wrap version with some dogs on it weighs about 15 pounds or something like that, I think. That was before everybody got on the lightweight kick, though. I weighed this 
357. Fully fueled and oiled, and it came up at, I think it was 15 or 15.2, somewhere in that ballpark. I'm thinking that this little mighty mite's gonna be about a second and a half faster. That's my prediction.
Yeah, that's a nice running little saw. I kind of like it. I think I'm going to be missing it when it goes across the pond. Uh, but anyway, took a minute to get that thing spinning up a bit. Um, that's a 28-inch Oregon lightweight with a semi-skip Oregon chain. It's got a coasty grind on it. I've been using it quite a bit here and there because it stresses the engines a little bit more so because that chain's not set up for this kind of wood. It's a little rough. And so uh, the wood's starting to thaw out a little bit too. I'm noticing it's getting a little bit better. Seems like it's a little softer. Um, but anyway, didn't do too bad for itself. For being a stock machine, I'm thinking that the 357, which is down at least a horsepower in stock form, put the herd on it pretty good. I'm thinking it's a second and a half better. At least I'm hoping for that anyway. Definitely, you can tell feeling through the handlebars, it's got a lot more low end than the bigger saw. 72.2 cc's. That one's got a big bore kit that I made. I think I mentioned that already, but um, I think it's 61 or 61 and a half. I don't remember now. It's been so long since I checked it out. But anyway, starting to snow pretty good, so I think it's about time to call it a day. Thanks for watching this session. Check out my buddy Dave's channel out in the wood. All run together, all lowercase. Wood is singular on YouTube. He's got some interesting stuff going on there, too, for sure. All right, thanks for being patient, and uh, have a blessed day wherever you might be on God's round earth at this point. <laughs>